rhizome, or indigo dyeing, has developed in various parts of the world. Scholars disagree about the exact date, but it is said the dyeing process was introduced from India to Japan through the Silk Road. Although the timing is not clear, there are records of indigo plant cultivation and dyeing from the 6th century within Japan. The precious and expensive cloth was used only for nobility or the samurai classes. However, by the 16th century, it spread to the regular folks, and various household items were being dyed with indigo, including kimonos, hand towels, and even bedding. Early in the Meiji period, traditional dyers started to disappear. The modernization of the empire began to collapse a time-honored craft. Pockets of it remained, some even in Okinawa. We spoke to a dyer who was trying to keep the tradition alive. I've been doing this for 20 years, and it's been four years since I opened this place, Karancha. In high school, I was exposed to the indigo dyeing process and felt empowered by it. I have always wanted to make handmade crafts. I thought this way I could help preserve our tradition. I have been using Ryuku Ai, or Okinawan indigo, and other local plants to make dyes for my artwork. The color of nature can reach people's hearts. I hope you can feel it too. To find out more about Okinawa or MCCS events, visit mccsokinawa.com. Reporting from Marine Corps Community Services High Sai, I'm Gabriel Archer.